and hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. And today we have a very special queen of our one wheels and trails. That is no, yesterday was a video of, uh, I think, uh, of one region of uh, America for yeah. Asian and uh, was lots of girls there and it was fantastic to see. And today we have another fantastic rider with us. That hello. is Mel. Hello. Um, good morning. Morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. We never know. Yeah. In Australia, <laughs> now is it's the evening, and I sent to Australia for the people there. So, first of all, like I always make the first question: How do you start it, or how do you find the one wheel, and how long are you now riding one wheel? Everybody always asks that, and we tell them we're from the future. And we built the boards <laughs> and we didn't buy them online on onewheel.com because it's only on the damn board. But yeah, you yeah, know, that's where you get it. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a big baby. It took me uh -huh. a long time to get used to it. Like the first week I was still holding Derek's hand. Derek Wilson's my husband. Everybody oh. knows who Derek is. That's oh. the only reason why I'm on here today. <laughs> but, you know, it took me a while, but I was fine after I got comfortable and I feel confident. And it's just like riding a bike. It's so smooth. Yeah. And uh, that that's why. Uh, and for you as a lady riding trails, uh how, how, how was that uh, the difficulty was bigger than because I think in street is better to ride it when you go to a trail I think that is a little more you need more uh, maybe a little more uh, training and more uh, yeah. preparation oh yeah oh you do ironically though I'm more afraid of asphalt because that shit hurts you fall on that and the burn and the scars and i mean i've already broken my nose like four freaking times already <laughs> i don't need to like face plant on the asphalt but i you know I, I know there's like a big debate about it like oh trails road what's better they're both fun and you should ride what you prefer to ride but the reason why i like trails so much is because it's an adventure. My cat, sorry. Hello. Because it's like an adventure in the woods, you know? You can go deep, explore so much more ground, and I'm one with my nature friends in the woods. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. too. An important thing. That's why I come direct to the next question. Is like this. We are going to put here. This. We are talking oh. about the cat. We are talking about the yeah. cats. And we are going to put here the cat. <laughs> uh, that's why uh, that, that's uh, well, uh, because you talk about that for you is very important to go yeah. trails with friends uh -huh. it is it is as many as we can find it can be hard because of where we're located but mm -hmm. if I could take these guys I would but they are <laughs> murder they don't... <laughs> <laughs> if you have if you like if, if you like animals that is uh, one of the things I have my friend here always together with me in my interviews I have a dog oh. and, uh, that, that is always uh, my they are always with us and taking care <laughs> crazy cats <laughs> De De Derek is riding the, the is crazy <laughs> crazy cat lady yeah, yeah yeah that's life yeah that is like <laughs> that is a, uh and um for you um what do you like more uh, as as a rider to to ride uh, in trails uh downhill or uh, 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 like uh, what, going up going down very fast uh, just enjoying what is your type of, of trail rider well first i'd like to say that that question could be taken in in many different ways you know uh, okay okay <laughs> but um no it's a uh... It doesn't matter. I don't mind. I'm so light. I can just cruise uphill and smoke people pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, downhill's great because you regenerate, but you know I don't need to worry about that. It doesn't matter to me as long as it's doable and okay. it's not close to a giant cliff because I hate heights. Mm -hmm. Okay, then it's good. Then uh, we go, we are seeing here. I just oh uh, I, I, we are seeing here some videos from you. There showing you riding and uh you uh, the first time i see the videos from you i was here with derek and uh -huh. uh, you, you you ride very good oh, what type thank of you. what type of protections do you use normally when you go for a ride 
Well, first and foremost, uh, Cabo Wabo tequila is the most important protection that I use when I ride on my trails. Mm -hmm. But a uh, helmet, you got to wear the helmet. A lot of people don't wear them. Um, you know, I don't know why they don't, but protect your head, you know, duh. But you also want to wear wrist guards. Wrist guards are important. Mm -hmm. It's really common when you fall that you don't mm -hmm. roll. And I'm a hypocrite because I don't roll. Mm -hmm. I usually just face plant, but you want to wear <laughs> wrist guards and knee pads, maybe uh -huh. some elbow pads. People do butt pads. I mean, you can pad the shit up if you want. It just depends on what you prefer. Yeah, I think too that uh, I want to say hello to Christy Miller. Uh, for everybody is out there, this month is just going to be uh, one wheel ladies month. That you just going to see ladies in one wheel. And mm -hmm. next, next week is going to come Christy Miller here, and this today is Mel, and then is going to come Vanessa in the last one. Ooh. I think that is. It's going to be very interesting to having uh, all the ladies who ride the uh, one wheels. Yeah. Because there's lots of good riders there in trails. I think I think most of the most of the ladies today who ride the one wheels, they like more to ride the uh, trails than uh, in the streets. I agree. And it's probably for the same reason. Well, I won't speak for them, but uh -huh. I'm sure they just appreciate being able to explore. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. You get I to see so much. Yeah, I think too. I think that the, 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 for me, I think that the important thing by trails is like you always, every time you are riding is something new. You're going to yeah. find it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's just, oh, you know, Ohio, we're not as our terrain isn't as diverse as it would be mm -hmm. on the West coast and like California and the United mm -hmm. States, France, France has beautiful terrain. You know, Ohio's mm -hmm. pretty flat. So we gotta, we yeah, gotta make some stuff up really. I think too. I think the important thing is uh, like me, I, I, I want to show something we here. Do you have something with, with the family with uh, Tarzan or something? Oh. Like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, this is fun. Um, he, uh, he, Derek was, I think, oh, this is just when he started the uh, the one wheel trail riding uh -huh. challenge, Rider Pro. I don't even know the damn name, but it was some like, <laughs> I think it was like a weekly challenge that he was doing. And uh -huh. and he's like, I got to do something cool and different. And I'm like, swing from a vine. Like, that'd be awesome. And you know what the, the linchpin with that was? That was so cool. I, I think Float Life had put some promo out before. Uh -huh. And well, theirs came out after, but he was the first one to ride on the 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 Tarzan rope thing. But uh -huh. his came out later, so it was not as cool. But yeah, this is what happened. That is a nice idea. That is something new, innovative, and is very funny. And yeah. I think that is, that 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 <laughs> why not making a change a challenge uh, uh -huh. for everybody. I think it's the important thing you. From there, you can have fun, you can exercise, and it's different because that's what I love about the world of uh, One Wheel is uh, you can always uh, find something new in trails to make. Uh, yeah. You, if you find, I see from Eric and I see from the, the group from him, uh, uh -huh. lots of guys who ride in trails, they are always bringing some videos very crazy. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Innovated, and I think that is fantastic. But now I want to speak with you. I think that is important for the persons who live in Ohio. Uh, if you no, don't know this group, this is the Ohio One Wheel. Yeah. And can you speak about a little more about this uh, group for everybody who who, who lives in Ohio want to to join the group and go for with rides with you? Sure. Um, we started riding. Uh, in quarter quarter four of um, oh gosh, 2019. Yeah, so it was mm -hmm. like August September of 2019 is when we first started riding, mm -hmm. and there was a Cleveland group. Um, there weren't a whole lot of people involved because it was still fairly new, and we met quite a few people in some of the major cities in Ohio, Columbus, Cincinnati, and we just wanted um, a big collaborative group that could host everyone in Ohio. Mm -hmm. So that's when we created it. And it's really grown, especially mm -hmm. considering it's Ohio, you know, we can only ride good riding like 
six, seven months out of the year. Otherwise, it's like negative 10 and icy and it blows. So, uh, first of all, uh, this photo, photo, what you are seeing now, that is from Derek Chop. If you have uh -huh. a chance in Ohio, uh, go there. Eric can explain you. Eric has uh, helped me a lot with lots of explanation. I was with the problem of wheel. I don't. I was want to buy a, a right wheel for uh, trailings, and uh -huh. Eric uh, has make me a nice explanation of the different tires. And oh, I think that okay. is very good for, for for all of you. Go there. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. I'm going to leave the link. I'm going to leave the link, and then maybe he can help you to find the best one. He has a shop, and we always help here in the channel, uh, guys who uh, uh, work for the community and do lots of stuff. Of course, he, if he has the chance to win some money and bring something new for all of us, is going to be fantastic. Then I mm -hmm. have a, a question here. Here for for this is from from Christy uh, Mel. They are planning to go to the Flow Life Fest in. Uh, for this September? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll be there. That's like and Arkansas, did... I think. Ben yeah. Benville, maybe. And uh, and did you watch the Dick Surf's Endure race yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was yesterday. Um, you know, I didn't watch it, but man, we got like really good news. So Ohio totally represented in that. Um, there was different, I guess they did different categories. So there was uh -huh. like, a, um, I believe it was pro expert amateur or something to that effect. But mm -hmm. Ori Rush, he's from Ohio. Mm -hmm. I believe Ori placed, and I may be incorrect, but I think Ori placed second or third in the top tier race. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert Allen, I believe, placed uh, 10th or 11th as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Nico Ailman also participated, and I think he placed uh, 24th. And then Kyle Clossing, he's fairly new. He placed uh, first in his division, so it was really cool. We were really represented. Mm -hmm. Proud, that very proud. Uh, Eric, now he, he shows here something. I'm going to say to, to for everybody is there. This channel is not. We don't win no money with it. If you want to, to show something from your, uh, you are selling something. I'm very pleased to help you guys. If you are one guy from the community who helped mm -hmm. the, the riders and everything, I'm very pleased always to uh, make something for you guys don't worry uh I, you don't need, need to pay nothing you don't need that is everything information free we are here to help everybody then uh, what the photos you are seeing now here is photos from the one wheel uh ohio for oh the, yeah yeah and hey. i think that is important that uh -huh. is important for you to see the the persons are inside of there there is lots of good photos that's i think is a, a fantastic group yeah. if you are from oh, yeah. ohio and you want to see friends and you want to ride with your friends there is an opportunity that you're going to find the right group from you is going to be oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she she turned her simple stop off. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> if anybody has simple stop on uh, yeah. your, your pint, your little cute little pint, turn it off. Everybody. Or yeah. that could happen. Yeah, and that can happen. Yeah. That's how I always say that that is going to happen in every place. Don't worry. In every sport or sometimes if you don't have a sport, it's going to happen the same thing. Then yeah. Uh, don't, uh, this happens to everybody then we're going to continue it, uh, for you what is in your group that you need to have to come in a one wheel or while oh it's pretty basic like to join the group I mean they just mm -hmm. have to have a one wheel and give us some in depth details about mm -hmm. why they love to ride and where they love to ride but I mean you know how it goes you get yeah people that don't even have a one wheel that are trying to join just so they can up their group numbers for influencer points and shit. But yeah. it's cool. Yeah. They're super engaged. I mean, they really are. There's a lot of cool tricks and group rides that are always happening and it's neat. It's really neat. And uh, for you, now we are seeing one tire here. What tire do you use? Do you have a specific tire <laughs> that you love or you yeah. don't know about that? For you, no, just... it's, it's funny that as I was walking upstairs into my office, because I do a lot of work from uh -huh. home lately with this pandemic, uh -huh. um, I, Derek's like, member, 
you ride a Burris treaded. <laughs> and I was joking, like, I think I need to phone a friend for the technical stuff. No, you I... don't need it. That, that's why. I, 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 me, I'm not a technical yeah. guy. That's why yeah. I ask you and I ask everybody. But sometimes you don't know. Me, when I have a question like me, I go to Derek or I go to guys who, who know about that. I'm a cook. Yeah. I don't, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, of course you are, because you're from Portugal. So yeah. you better be a good cook, man. <laughs> I have to be old. <laughs> <laughs> or your ice. Your ice. <laughs> no, I try my best. Uh, that's in, for for mm. you as uh, as a rider. Uh, how many times do you ride when the time when the weather is good? Uh, or how many times do you try to ride in a week? Oh, we try and do it every day. Every oh, day. That is, that yeah, is good. we try. Yeah. On the weekends, we'll double it up. Like yesterday, we had a. <laughs> A fun ride with a man named uh, Jordan Alter and his mm -hmm. wife Jasmine Alter in the Ohio group, and uh -huh. it was just beautiful. It was so beautiful, but we got a lot of heavy rain last night, so I don't know if, if we can actually hit the trails today. Yeah, I hope I hope that you can go the, for you as a rider. Do you, when rain, you have a fender, but you like to use a fender, or for you, a fender is not one thing that you. Uh, like oh, to use. no, I have to use it. I mean, you have to when you go off road, unless you want like a freaking mud bath on your legs, mm -hmm. which you know, I, I like mud masks, like that's cool, mm -hmm. but I don't want to get that shit all over my legs. You okay. need one, and it's better yeah. to have like a like not the, the kind that are screwed in. See, this is when I mm -hmm. need to phone a friend, the kind that like tuck in that you can remove mm -hmm. easily. Those are the ones you want, yeah. Okay, and uh, the, the the other question, what I always make, you started direct with the XR, or you try it uh, before uh, the the pint? Um, you... I, definitely XR. Actually, uh, when Derek got it, he was going to get me a pint, but I tested out a pint, and that thing was just so squirrely, mm -hmm. and like it doesn't, it's not as powerful, so you can't mm -hmm. really go as far as fast and you just max out on it pretty quickly, at least on trails. But mm -hmm. I mean, they can do really, really well. They're a lot of fun, but the XR is for me. The pine doesn't really suited for my needs. Yeah, that's is uh, that's why I, I I ask you that because yeah I I tried the I tried the pint uh, I I'm not a big big fan of pints but mm -hmm. I know that they make lots of propaganda for the pints and sometimes I I listen to the guys telling the pint is fine and everything but for me as a rider I prefer to have the XR like you said I want yeah. to have more power and I I feel I feel that the one wheel XR is uh, a big, big tank, and it is pint, a beast. Yeah, and this, and for me, the pint is like the, something very small, very delicate. You have to watch it, not to break it. It's like it's totally different for me the sensation. But I respect <laughs> yeah. everybody who loves who everybody who loves the the pint. But for yeah. me, it's not for me. Then we have here from Priest. Uh, I write the uh, Boris. Uh, yeah. Trails <laughs> the tires. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Trip. That is very good. She is a very good rider too. Uh, oh, yeah. oh cool. I can't wait to meet her. Hopefully I can. <laughs> yeah, that is she is very good. Uh and uh, then uh, oh, oh flying fenders for us. Yeah. I I don't use so much. I'm a guy it's not for for me. But uh, I respect I prefer I prefer I have an accident about uh, Two weeks because my feet was stuck in this uh, uh, the the fenders fin fenders what's the name oh no was it on the fenders or the flight yeah, fins yeah. yeah flight fins oh okay you have flight fins nice yeah, yeah. I have my I give to my friend now because uh, that's why I'm uh, I'm waiting for something to come I uh -huh. want to send to Eric there is uh, something grippy and I want to say uh, send to the Millers too. Because there is a guy in Germany who makes uh, grip tape, and he makes a very grippy tape. Oh, uh, it's grippy! And for, mm. uh, for for trails, I think that is going to be very good for you, all of you. And I test it, and I think it's going to be fine. And I, I'm going to send you for all of you this oh, way. Oh, thank you! Nice. Yeah, because because later I want I want to listen to uh, your opinion. If is that a piece of shit, you have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's like this. That's no, why. No, I'm 
can't say that, but it's yeah, good timing. Course. No, 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 no. You have to say it. If it's not good, you just say it. I don't like it. It's a piece That's, of shit. That, yeah, we'll yeah, see. We'll see. I, I think it's like this. If you are, uh, if, yeah, that's why I, I like to send it to spur, uh, for ladies and men mm -hmm. because that is from one friend. And I said to him, I want to listen to the, uh, uh, from one writer, the truth, what they think, if that is good or that is not good. If it's not good, we have to say that, the, okay, that is for me, it's not good. That oh, is yeah. The, because then we're going to bring information correct for everybody who write it. If you don't say that your truth, then a friend from you is going to buy it and say, "Oh, I buy something and that was not good." Tisk, that way, tisk on you. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotcha. I I think Lizzo said truth hurts, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we can do that. Truth, but truth, I need hurt. one. Yeah, it does. Truth, it does. Truth hurts, but uh, Mel, you have to think like this. That, but it's for the community. You have to always share the truth for them then i think that is the best or your opinion you can say for me is mm -hmm. not the right one one for you maybe is the perfect one but for me you have to give your opinion that's why i want to send to you to your man i want to send for ladies and girls that they, they can test it and they can give it his opinion that is the right way for us to help the community so i'm excited i need it yeah. i do i, I hope that's bad you <laughs> right now it is it's falling I, off seriously it is no i think that is i think that is i think that is a grip tape is good i'm not making propaganda guys i'm telling you i try it and i asked this is like this dick very very uh and it's uh soft when you go in the trail for i think for a street oh. is not good but for a trail yeah. because you are always moving that is going to be uh good for your feet and it's yeah. creepy. Then you're not going to lose so easy the control. But if you move a lot your feet in the one wheel, then I think that is not the right one because it's so grippy. You cannot move your feet so well. That's why. But that is my opinion. Uh, for you, what you like the Mel? Do you like more to ride uh, in a day, in the evening, or in the afternoon, or in the morning? What is for you the perfect day for to ride? Oh, I don't think it matters. I mean, really, the, <laughs> as long as uh, Derek's with me, my ride or die, I'm good. It doesn't matter. I mean, however, night riding can be a little spooky at times, especially since my lights are shot on my board now. So uh -huh. <laughs> that can be a little spooky, especially when you see like all the all the little bright eyes looking back at you in the woods. I'm like, oh, shit, there's a great big bear like coming at me <laughs> or something. <laughs> I know it's fine. I like it. I like it no matter no matter what. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Then we have here the that is the magnetic fender made by uh, Yeah. No. Yeah. That is the, the only one you can have it. Yeah, okay. I don't have it because I'm going to say something to all of you. In Europe it's very difficult for us to uh receive products like you guys in america in america you have uh, oh. crazy uh, uh you have the um, uh, flow uh, uh, flow life mm -hmm. you have the crazy and right uh craft and right you have crazy and right <laughs> i like that <laughs> that's good that's good <laughs> <laughs> i like to i like to write crazy that that's <laughs> because of that but i think uh, you just started a movement <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. But uh, the, 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 what, what I want to say is uh, sometimes it's very difficult because you have to pay lots of taxes. That's why oh. I always to everybody who's selling in America, I know that, that uh, in America, one wheel is very big for us in Europe. It's not so big. Maybe sometimes because of the price is so expensive for all of us. Uh, mm. because, because you have to buy a product to cost it $20, then you have to pay taxes is more ten dollars then you're going to make you're going to pay the product two times then it's not so dude nice for it's too early for math it's 10 a.m here <laughs> you lost me like like five minutes ago <laughs> not, so, not then my we're going to, okay then no, we're going to we're going to go to the other in this moments that you are riding mel do you have uh, a moment that was not uh very nice for you that you fall that you say okay that was not a positive thing that for you or did i have an time? eat shit, <laughs> eat no. shit moment basically <laughs> yeah. yeah no i i recently did i had a bad experience just mm -hmm. once 
Well, no, a few times. I think I forgot what they used to call me. The flop queen. I don't know what it was, but okay. for like a while there, every time we would go on a group ride, I would always like take a nasty fall. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, you know, every every fall I've ever had is because I didn't commit. And I have three examples of that. Um, one was a speed nosedive going uphill. Um, mm -hmm. The other... You know, I think I was going like three miles an hour and I just hit a root wrong mm -hmm. and went down. And then um, the third time uh, I was holding somebody or was holding Derek's hand while we mm -hmm. were off road and my mind just went totally numb for some reason. And I just belly flopped right on the ground. <laughs> like, I don't know why I did it. But the point of those three stories is there's a lesson with all of them. Um, about a month ago, I was going uphill. And when you go uphill, regardless of your weight, you really need to like feather off and lean back, try and keep the momentum, but don't continue to go faster. I mean, you're going to wind up going slower and that's mm -hmm. ideal. I didn't do that at all. I just kept on going faster and pushing it and pushing it. And next thing I know... I just smack straight into the ground. It, I, I don't know how fast I was going, but it hurt. I got a concussion. It sucked. Don't do that. That's so dumb. And yeah. every other time I just, I didn't commit and I got hurt, but it happens and it's part of learning. I think it's important. Yeah. But the, I think with the, these mistakes, maybe you learn how to protect yourself from this time to, from this time, to, uh, I think that is always when you have an accident, you're going to take care of yeah. you and you're going to watch it more and watch it uh, and have a little more careful riding. Uh, yes. I know all that. And, and I have here like this pictures that is very nice. Uh, that's why I come for one question. In Ohio, is difficult uh, to find girls to ride with you? It's, uh, it's, there is lots of girls always or is something like a new sport uh, that um and no man it's hard like i in my head when you said it's one wheel ladies month i'm thinking like okay you've got four people that are talking that's probably 10 percent of all female riders but, but it is hard it's hard but that's okay but, it'll catch on go ahead sorry that's why that's why no 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 please that's why we are making this and i say to all the youtubers there uh, mm -hmm. do the same like i do bring lots of ladies this way like you mel thank you for you to come thank you for the other <laughs> ladies has come to this uh, uh channel that is not for me i don't win nothing with this but i think this way you are uh bringing more ladies to this sport i and, hope so uh, Yes, you have to. You're going to bring it because I see lots of ladies who I see the videos, and they sometimes they write to me and they say, "Now, so I like to come now to your uh, live because I think that is very useful the nice. information, and that's that's why I say to the other YouTubers." If you don't think you want to win money, you're not going to win money with these interviews, but you want, you're going to win one very important thing. You're going to make the community come together. Uh, You're going to meet mm -hmm. lots of persons new. Like for the ladies, I think that is so beautiful. Uh, I make now I have to end of May. I know that is for ladies, but I know they they there was very fast. You and the other three girls, they say everything fine. And for, for April, I have four girls who ride skateboards and they're oh, going cool. to come for it. And the now other that's ballsy. Month, yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why you have to you have to bring it, and that's the way I think for you, ladies, to open this sport. That's why I ask you uh, if it's a, a sport in a moment that you don't find so many girls. That's why I say to all the girls in Ohio who never try it, go to the group. Uh, maybe you don't have a board. Just say I like to try it. Go yeah. to an event from them and say, can I try a board? To see if that is the right thing for me, and that's is going to open the way uh, to the 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 group to be bigger and the community to go come 
bigger and bigger because I know that is sometimes oh that is a sport for men. No, that is wrong. That is a sport for everybody yes. who likes to write. And if you don't try it, I always say to everybody who comes to my events, uh, not mine. I say if you never ride it, I'm going to have three or four boards or one wheels in my car. You can try it. Maybe the one wheel is not going to be the, the, the best for you. I have a skateboard. And you can try it and say, okay, that is better for me. Now I can buy it. Don't buy nothing before you try it. Yeah, because agreed. You, because you're going to expend the money. And maybe you're going to say, oh, I, and that is expensive. That's why. Always try to try to go to a group and ask the questions. That's why I think that is very beautiful for you to have a group. And the other question, what I want to make for you, like for the other ladies who want to try, who want to, uh, when you go ride with this, all these uh, boys together with you, do you feel, <laughs> yeah, but you feel safe? Do you feel that they take care of you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, they're so helpful. You know, my, well, it's my experience, but Even when I first started out, um, at least in Ohio, we always have this rule where we never leave anyone alone, regardless of um, their level of technicality, speed, all that stuff. We never leave anyone alone. So when I first started out, I always had someone with me. Somebody was always teaching me, even on group rides, like people that are pros that should be like at the top of the pack mm -hmm. would stay all the way back there with me and teach me. That's how it is. They're always very helpful. And I found that to be bizarre in some ways because you don't see people in groups, any groups really as inclusive as they are, you yeah. know, with one wheel, it's nuts. They're just so helpful and friendly. And that's that why should I be. Asked. That's why I ask you this for the girls who want to try it. Your opinion that they know that it's safe to go there to the groups that they oh, go yeah. to the, the one wheel Ohio group, not, not not just this group. I think most of the groups they are all well organized. We can talk about the one wheel trails riders too, and uh, we can talk to the other ones. There is rules inside and there, there is respect inside. That's why there is. I think that is don't be afraid, go out of your uh so far i don't know if so far is uh, okay so far is is it the right name <laughs> when you the chair don't leave your your television and come and enjoy yes and, uh, have a oh, nice they, ride they do they do we do need more ladies though and i've only ridden with i think six in total in ohio um mm -hmm. raquel she's my my best bff one wheel mm -hmm. rider and There's a woman named Emily I've ridden with. Um, now I'm drawing a blank. But see, there's not there's not very, very many ladies. Uh, Emily in PA, it's limited, and we're all spread out. So it can be hard to ride together. Yeah, that is uh, Derek uh, saying uh, something here about the demos. Melo and I give demos all the time. Uh, yeah, that is very good. Can you talk about that and, and, and try to explain how that works, these demos? Yeah. Uh, almost always when we have a group ride, there's always someone new. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't own a board or they're interested in learning how to ride. And that's where those demos are so critical. Um, we, you know, we always make the, the person wear a helmet on and we'll help them get on the board and hold their hand. And usually somebody's spotting in the back because inevitably they're going to fall. It's your first time. But it's important that they see people riding it in different ways on the mm -hmm. road, on the trails, doing tricks like this. It's mm -hmm. important that they see the diverse range of capability that the board can give you. And then you've got to give them some confidence so they can see how easy it is. But we do it quite a bit. I'd say every time we take the damn board out, somebody mm -hmm. has a question and somebody <laughs> wants to try it out all the time, all the time. And I think that is beautiful. Do it. And I, I recommend for the other groups, uh, don't just go and enjoy it. Uh, try to help the community. Try to help the guys who are starting, the girls who are starting. Support your communities. That is very important. That is going to make yeah. your, your, your community bigger and bigger, and you're going to uh, have more respect from everybody, and you're going to see in around all the communities, uh, they're going to see you 
totally different and that's the other thing we're going to talk now that's why i was here having i just want to show it because that is one thing we are using now in europe we're going to use it i think that was eric and the guys from trails who, who started that can you talk a little more about that because it's one thing very important for the trails oh gosh yeah um well we're, you know we're lucky in ohio um technically we're allowed to be on the trails but that did take uh quite a bit of personal lobbying on our behalf and mm -hmm. that personal lobbying isn't at this point at least it's not about attending like civic meetings like legal meetings within your city community whatever um personal lobbying is being respectful while you're on the trail being aware and cognizant of other people, animals, objects that are around you. And ultimately you have to understand that even though you're probably going faster than everybody else on that trail, you need to yield to everybody else. And I think those are some of the hardest things that, that people tend to forget about. When you're passing people, call mm -hmm. out three riders passing on your left mm -hmm. so they know that three of you guys are going to fly by on the left mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you see horses get off the damn board and walk mm -hmm. the board past the horse it's just it, to me it's obvious that you should be doing these things but i can see how at times um you know people forget to do those things everybody has good intentions they just have to keep in mind that there's other people on the trails and you have to cater to them in many ways yeah i think that you are totally right i think that is not just here is this sign i i said to derek uh this sign we have here because that was made from them that is the one wheel trails respect but i think that uh that goes for everybody who goes in trails we have to respect these kids they're play, playing these horses these uh, mm -hmm. dogs animals these other persons riding uh, a di different type of uh, device uh, we never know we have yeah. to respect all of us uh, that way we can uh, <clears throat> achieve something very special Mm -hmm. and if you don't respect it that is going to be just bad for all of us yes uh, and i think that is not the right way if you lose better if you lose five minutes of your life that lose the all your life because oh, that yeah. is, it's going to be persons who's going to say oh i don't like it they're going to call the police they're going to be uh, uh they're going to be upset the police is going to be upset because everybody's calling everybody's uh, then you you're not going to have more fun i'm going to tell you because us in a city where i live there is about three months the state for my city they say because of lots of people uh, was walking not mm -hmm. horses not animals but they are start to write to the to the state and they ask to close for electro bikes bikes and all devices trails mm. now is closed you oh, cannot use it and uh. that's why you see us happening don't lose your freedom take care yeah. of your freedom I'm telling what happened to us maybe can ha happen to you guys. If you don't respect the others, you have to mm -hmm. know that the other person is going to go and make a complaint, not direct to you, but maybe they're going to make in paper. And in paper, that is the problem because in paper, then is going to happen something. Yeah, it's With more formal for sure. That's why use your freedom enjoy it respect the others i think that was a fantastic thing from the one wheel trailers uh, uh from america they do this thing and i think everybody should use this in yes. every sport and i uh, agree you just have to put the one wheel out and you can put everything bike you can put uh, what you like just mm -hmm. respect everybody and in the streets too is the same. yeah it's super basic just be mm -hmm. nice and respectful yeah, be nice right. you're representing yeah. a community not just you always have to remember that you yeah, know that is that what you said was everything you are you are representing uh, the communities and sometimes it's not the community from your state but maybe it's other community is going yeah. to lose that's why open the doors don't close it 
<laughs> Ooh, yeah. You've got all these catchphrases today. Crazy ride, open the door. Yeah, I, I love. love it. I'm, 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 le I'm learning every day because, like, I, like you see the interviews what I make every day. I'm learning with all of you. There is stuffs I never, never believe that I'm going to learn. And today my head is open because that's why I'm loving to do these interviews because I'm learning with all of you. I never think about this uh, respect trails and there it came and I never know uh, about the rules that keeps. I never know how to ride the, the best way to ride in life. And today I know more and more and more. That, that's why I think these interviews is good for everybody. Oh, you I agree. I think so. For you, what is the most important thing uh, in your one wheel? Is speed or just enjoying the the trails? Or the oh both of them? Gosh. Can I say all of the above? Like, do I have to pick one? Like, really, you're gonna make me you pick can, one? No, 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 you don't. No. no, no, you can, you can, you can choose uh, the, both. I um, love both. <laughs> yeah, all, everything, everything. It's so fun. Man, there's no greater feeling than being on that board and just feeling the wind and your hair and your skin, the sun heating up your skin. And <laughs> oh, it's just, it feels phenomenal. I, I love it. it. It doesn't matter to me. It's just, it's an excellent. You forget uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, you do. You really do. I could be you tired could as hell, and I'm fine on this board. That's why I always do the same. That's is that very important answer. That is all very good for you, ladies who want to start. That is a very nice point from her. I think most of the riders I have here, they say the same thing. When you go for a ride with a one wheel or a skateboard or a AUC, uh, you just forget uh, the problems in life. Yeah. Just oh, you do. You totally do. You just have to have fun, and uh, that is more, most important. Uh, uh, but I say, I say to everybody, watch it. The one wheel is like uh, uh, I was a rider of uh, skateboards, electro skateboards, and the first time I started to ride the one wheel, that is like something you cannot, uh, uh, you're not going to give away anymore. No. <laughs> I love today. I love so much riding my one wheel. Now I have a problem because my one wheel is broken and I cannot oh. ride. Oh and I no! Was, I, I'm like, <laughs> 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 oh, no. and, then, uh, and uh, there is one month. What is one month? Was one one wheel to sell, and it was a good price. And I say, ah, I don't need it. And now oh. I'm here, like, why don't I buy it? Why don't I buy it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because now I don't. That's the problem with <laughs> us here in Europe. Now I need a, a, a part from the the board yeah. that I have to wait to come from uh, USA. Then. Oh no! So you're gonna get it in like November, basically. <laughs> it's like always. Oh. You have to always close to two months or maybe more, and that is uh, upsetting. Now coming the summer here, and uh... I'm sorry. Oh no! Yeah. That's... <laughs> oh no, no. no that is that is very upsetting that's why i say i say to everybody uh, uh sometimes it's better if you have a, a, a second one and i, I regret yeah. myself that i don't buy the, the, the second one and uh, if you have the chance because that's the problem from one wheel you try it you don't want to stop it you just want to ride ride but like you you said you ride every day when you have the chance yeah it's a bad yeah. habit no it's a good habit <laughs> no, We're gonna have, like, bad. don't blah. say that <laughs> no no it's, i corrected it it's good it's just we're gonna have one wheel anonymous one day <laughs> hi my name is mel <laughs> i have a problem <laughs> but i'm sorry you need to get that shit fixed get another yeah. board man <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm trying to buy another one i'm trying to buy my <laughs> wife is not so ah, not oh. board. We can start a petition. <laughs> for Nelson, Nelson needs no, 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 no. I, I, I have to buy a new one. I think it's going to be better with me. For me, I just need to know because there is, uh, the, there is, uh, the, then I'm going to speak with the guys because there is some code, some numbers that is yeah. one board is good, the other board is not good. I listened yesterday. Was a friend saying the number four four thousand watt? I don't know so good of that. That is a problem with battery. The other number is not good for you. It's, yeah. Uh, I don't understand nothing about uh, this uh, technology. I don't know it, but I'm I'm learning. Ditto. So, for you, when you are riding, 
it's very important for you to make a video or a video for you is not not important because it's very difficult for me to find videos from you writing so i know i'm awesome. sorry yeah i i'm just not that um well we i just want to enjoy it that long yeah but i no i i i guess i don't really promote myself in any way um because mm -hmm. i didn't really think there was anything to promote for mm -hmm. a while but yeah, I mean, he does most of the video, whoever I'm riding with. I never really do any of my own. Yeah, that's normal. You always better for you to have a, a person who can make the video for you is always yeah. uh, the best thing. And Derek, he, he, he has some videos. Uh, if somebody <laughs> don't know uh, Derek, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it the link from Derek. He has a YouTube channel. If you have the chance, go there. That will be that was very fun, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it just, I mean, you couldn't ride on it. And they're destroying our front yard here. Oh my <laughs> God. It's so crazy. I can't tell you how many times I've come home and I see people flying off shit in my backyard off stuff. Like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was fun. He, I mean, this is what he does. He has a movement. It's the trail rider community well, in the well. States. And that's something that he kind of, birthed overnight and it's really mm -hmm. a, it's evolved into a movement and it's meaningful and i'm just so proud of him that he he did that because it wasn't easy but there was a need for it and he's followed through he really has yeah. it's cool i just want to talk about just guns uh, very fast that is not a day from uh, but the one wheel trailers they are coming bigger and bigger now they are yeah four thousand members about wow uh, four thousand yeah, yeah, now they are nice. members. That is coming bigger. The first time I see it, uh, that was about three thousand. Now it's very big. In I think two or three months, they uh, come one thousand more persons. That means that there is lots of persons riding trailers. If you want mm -hmm. to go there, uh, I know that uh, Derek is a very a fantastic person. The group is all fantastic. You can go there, and uh, if you have a one wheel and if you ride the trail come to the group of course that is more for one wheels uh, who, who ride trails not uh, for other things if you are riding a uh, skateboard or uh, AUC then they have another group they created that was another idea from Derek that is hmm. the uh, that is the um, uh, trails uh, i think the trails uh, electric electric electric, electric trail riders Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, that is another group. Then you can come with all different types of devices there. And uh -huh. uh, I'm there too. Then you can go, if you are a skater, if you are everything you are, you can go there and and you can post it everything. I just want to give it... Uh, I have it here. So if you want it, that is very new, but it's coming very big, very fast. They are close to 700. I think they has about one oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, this is new. I remember yeah. this. It's very new, like super, yeah. super new. Yeah, that is about one month or something, or a little more than one month. But uh, they, you have different guys from all around the world there inside. That is not, not just from America. You're going to see lots of guys from UK, from Australia. Uh, I know that they pick uh, the right administrators, the, the right uh, moderators for the for the group and you have different types and you have girls inside there as, oh my uh, gosh cool uh, nice. that is a nice thing as a, a moderators and if you have the chance go there i'm going to leave all the links there then we're going to come back to you forget about that we have i'm going to leave all the links there if you have the chance go there then for you uh do you do you think today you can uh uh leave without leave have a nice living without your one wheel no no <laughs> what hold on rephrase rephrase do you think you can live uh, you can uh, you can have a life without your one wheel how dare you even ask that question <laughs> how dare you no come on man you should know better than that yeah i know that but i think i think that is an important question because i cannot live with that living i cannot live without my one wheel and uh, that's why i think uh, everybody's going to try it. they're going to be in love 
Yeah, it's a necessity. No, I can't live without it. It's just one of those things. I need my vape. I need my one wheel. Life is good. Yeah, I think too. Do you ever try another electro device or the <laughs> only? No, yeah, e electro device as a. Uh, uh, yeah. I know. No. I know. What I, no, ah. I, I know. You have all these questions. You like do like right fast for no. it. It's so funny. There's so much innuendo. I love it. No, I, 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 oh, I, I know, I know. I know what you're yeah, about to say. If, that you, safe. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm telling about uh, do you try electro skateboards or you try it uh, uh, electro unicycle or you try another electro device for sport? You try uh, no, another one. No, I you know I before one wheel. I know I I never rode any of that stuff. I mean. Just I was, yeah, no, I, one wheel is like the only board I've ever been on. I mean, I rode a bicycle. Yeah, but that's but yeah, the, that's no, that's, that's it. A, that's uh, it. That's, yeah, but uh, uh, that's why I ask you if you try another another one because there is lots of things there. And uh, for you, oh, I just want to say to everybody, my questions is for my head. I don't make <laughs> questions like I let I let it everything flow because yeah. one day. I, I'm going to I'm going to tell just for everybody to know. The first time I make my first interview, I was everything in the paper, and oh, I say, "Oh, yeah. I, I have I have lots of questions for everybody." And mm -hmm. 50 minutes 15 minutes later, the question was over because <laughs> the people answer sometimes three or, or three or two or three questions in the same yeah. question. And then no, I was I like, oh, I don't have no more questions. What I'm going to do? And <laughs> oh, from shit, this Donnie. time, I said, uh, let it flow. Let it just go. Uh, I don't uh, like to make uh, uh, have this question. I just want to, I mix it and I put everything. I just want you to have fun. Sometimes my questions is like, my English is not so good. Then no. Nonsense. And you, no. <laughs> but it's always, it's always, it's always with respect. Then I ask you, what was one of the worst moments for you? And now I want to like, I, I like to know what three of the best moments that you have with your one wheel in all the time. Just three of them. The three best. Three of my best moments. Three of yeah. my best. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Um, probably. The, the first time I ever did a drop, I felt really proud of myself. That was a really good feeling, learning how to do that, because it's kind of hard. It feels weird. The board slaps on your feet when you fall to the ground, and that, that can feel a little funky. Um, the first time uh, being able to ride on a trail, that was really exciting. It just feels entirely different, and... I had such a different view and a different experience of the forest, the woods, nature, that that really opened my eyes up to something that I was missing for such a long time. Um, yeah, yeah, it was really cool. And, and probably um, the, the third thing was just, I, I don't I'm know, there's fun. so many. Yeah, there's just so many to pick from. Just the experience and enjoying it. Can I can I can Every I try to different. help you? Can I try to sure. help you? Sure. Sure. Riding together with your friend every day and loving the same sport, the two of you. Yeah, yeah. That that makes it pretty damn easy too. <laughs> well, because that's what I, I think of. I see his face. You know, when I think of the one wheel, that's what what I think of because it's a hobby that we both share, and you know, it's important. With your partner, you should have your own separate hobbies. But when you share the same hobby and you truly is... love it and you enjoy it together, oh, it's just, it's it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I encourage him. He definitely encourages me way more, let me tell you that much, a lot more. But it's just so wonderful. You have so, I, I love to see when I see couples riding together like you mm. Derek like the Millers like the uh, Rachel with his friend uh okay ich komme jetzt uh mm -hmm. and riding with friends and uh <clears throat> having so much fun I, I i i think that is beautiful that's why yeah. of course sometimes it's not easy for you to uh, uh go for a go for a ride with a friend because it's not your sport my wife my wife mm -hmm. she don't 
is not she is not a person who liked that so much <laughs> and i have respect it uh it's not because maybe she don't want it it's because she cannot do it because she has an accent yeah. very young and she cannot do it but i feel that we need it's very beautiful to see the support from one man and wife i see you and derek you are very happy the two of you doing yeah. this this thing and that is i think united more this sport because this way you are doing one thing together and i think that's beautiful then i have this question that i always like you as a lady as a rider what do you uh, like to uh give uh, your opinion to help not new ladies who want to start this sport not just one wheel maybe uh, electro skateboard or uh, some no, something electric what do you recommend the mail to the, all the ladies around the world what is your recommendation as a, a, a lady and rider perseverance but i mean that's as simple as it gets i think it's so easy to give up on something when you have a bad day or, or a bad experience throughout the learning process. It's so easy, but I think you're, I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you're trying to learn and, you know, maybe, maybe you figured out the one wheel or your, your EUC already and you're comfortable on asphalt or you're comfortable on a trail and You want to learn how to do drops or curb nudges or, or jumps or rotations, anything. You want to learn how to incorporate um, some of those things into your ride so you can accomplish more. And, and people tend to give up too easily. They don't go over a root or they fail that specific drop and then they just stop and they move on. But that's not the right attitude to have. You've already come so far You have the board, you learned how to ride on it, you're doing well. Why give up on all the other little achievements down the road that are going to make for a better and more like complete experience? So perseverance, see everything through. That's my advice. I think, uh, that, is, that, that is a very good advice. I want to say, first of all, uh, for everybody who came to see Mel, I think she is a fantastic person. First Thank all, you. I I'm know, feeding uh, him this. No, <laughs> Sorry, no, good, no, good. No, Sorry. no, 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 no. Uh, I'm just telling uh, for the time I know her, for the time I know Derek, uh, there was uh, very nice persons to me because I started with a small channel that is small, but there was one of the persons who support it. It's mm -hmm. not easy for a person who see a, ch a channel is with uh, about uh, 100 persons in the channel uh, and they say, no problem, we're going to come, we're going to support you. And that mm -hmm. is what we call community. Yes. They never, they never see me in life. We are, we never contact before, and I contact them, and they very respectfully tell him, Nelson, we're going to come the next time. I, I speak with Mel, and I say, Mel, do you want to come? And she said, No problem. I'd be delighted, and that's the way I think for everybody, not for my channel, but for all the channels who want to do this. Because I think that is a service for the community to mm -hmm. make interviews to the riders because we expend so many money, so many hours. We try to help so much the community. Why don't make a channel just to open uh, 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 and bring the riders and uh, open the communication, open the wor world for all of us? I think that is very important. There is lots of yeah. guys, lots of girls there who can do this better than me because the English is better, the information oh. is going to be better. Stop yes. it. People yes, love true. an accent. We love yeah, an yeah. accent in America. But, 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 so but you're, 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 good. you're I, good. I'm telling from heart because I know that we need that. I, I have today, I'm going to show something very simple. I have here okay. papers with lots of persons who are going to come to this channel. Ooh. And I have And I have lots of persons who want to come, but I don't have more time. And I think that if it's another YouTuber starting this and bringing more persons, that is going to open for all of us. That is going to bring more ladies here. I can bring four ladies for months. If it's another person or two persons who's going to do the same, we're going to have 12 uh, ladies who are going to come in a month. If there is Ooh, more... Yeah. And then it's going to open for all of us. That is not uh, something I want to make. Uh, that's not my profession. But I think 
if that open for other right other other writers who say okay i'm not a good youtuber i'm not a good youtuber but try to help the community that's the way mm. we're going to be very big maybe we just want to hear from you you can no. think of it that way too no that you, you I, i'm trying I'm, i'm i'm opening my mind to you normally i'm trying to there is one girl who's going to make the interviews with all the ladies here she's a writer mm -hmm. too from one pint and uh, i think we have to be uh we have to bring positive energy for all this community yeah. and uh yeah. it's not uh, it's not because of nelson no i don't need to be here i just want you you ladies like you that the voice be open for other girls who want to start it and they never uh try it because they was thinking oh is that for me is that the sport for ladies is that uh, something for us then you are here today and you are showing that this is a sport for all of us that mm -hmm. is the important thing that's why i sometimes i lose so much time uh, speaking but i'm telling from my heart i i tell you mel i thank you so much for all the girls who was here because they sh yeah. they trying to help the community of ladies for you in your io i hope that yet there is lots of girls there who are going to see it and are going to say oh i'm going to go and to this group and i'm going to try a one wheel why not go there try it maybe you're going to see yes. oh, that, that is not going to be for me but go there mm -hmm. try it for mel is going to be fantastic she's going to have m m maybe more girls together they can speak together they're going to have lots of fun and th that yeah. is that is going to open for all of, all of you that is my idea that is how i think but i want to thank you very much for coming Of I'm, course. I'm, tell, I'm telling from my heart. Uh, I thank to Derek a lot because Derek, if you want to see uh, Derek as is a guy who has come to this channel, was a big discussion about two weeks ago about laws about uh, um, how to take care of the communities. Yeah, And I think that, yeah. That is, I think that is a good video for you to know. I have a little more information. It Derek is. It's was, really good. It is good. The, There, Derek was there to represent USA, and Derek make lots of explanation that can happen to you guys in USA. There is lots of guys who was here. Was a person from Australia. Was guys from around the world, uh, and I think that is good for you as information. If you want to subscribe to the here to the channel, you can subscribe. If you don't like to subscribe, don't need. Just come to the interviews and support these ladies. I think that is very important. That is going to help them. To open this uh, world for everybody, and of course, uh, if you have a lady who want to come to the channel, this April is everything uh, complete. But I'm going to try to bring in uh, June more ladies. If you want to make a channel, do it, my friend. Don't think two times. Just do it, and uh, just write to the person and say, "I want to make a channel. Bring riders. Bring riders." That is the way you're going to make this com uh, community going to be very big you don't need yes. nothing special just so just uh the camera from your laptop one fifty dollars of microphone one set of uh, uh one set of twenty dollars and you can do an interview or like mel now you just have to have your telephone it's enough yep you don't need nothing else And go to the go to the what's the name of this uh, street uh, uh, scream uh, scream yard is free. You don't have to pay. You can mm -hmm. make twenty hours, and is everything is free. You don't have to pay nothing. Is everything open for you? Just enjoy it. I'm going to leave you with the last message for everybody who came here to see you. Uh, if you want to say a thank you for everybody who's going to see later, maybe your video. Uh, I leave you always with the last words. Uh, oh. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> uh oh! Bad you can move, say, buddy. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, I just. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. You're such a sweet, kind man, and this is it is a very, a very selfless thing that you do, but it's needed. So thanks for doing this, and I just hope more and more people get out and enjoy their one wheel they explore but they do so respectfully and i love nothing more than to be on that board with derek and other people within our community that's what i love best 
I love it too. And I, I, I thank you so much for coming. For everybody who is out there, I just want to leave you with some pictures from her. Uh, you see how beautiful is the ride. She has good friends. And uh, go to the rides if you are uh, close to Ohio. Go to the One Wheel Ohio. Subscribe. Have fun. They're going to take care of you. They are fantastic yeah. persons. If you are a girl, of course, go there. Mel is going to be there and is going to take care of you. And she's going to bring you in the right direction. And just have a good day. Fun. Don't worry. Don't make no uh, stress of your life. Just go and float with your one wheel. Oh, Thank, you you <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. And we're going to go 